in the midst of impending chaos, he fell in love. Welcome to a tale that dances on the edge of passion and turmoil, The Magnetic Story of Paradise by Judith McNaught. Here you'll find Meredith Bancroft and Matthew Farrell, two souls intertwined in a dance of desire and destiny. Their story, filled with the thrills of love, the perils of wealth, and the trials of truth, is a journey you won't forget. Intrigued? Well, you should be. Let's dive into the world of paradise. Chapter 1 starts our journey, introducing us to the world of high society and star-crossed lovers. As we step into the world of Judith McNaught's paradise, we are immediately swept into a world of glitz, glamour, and high stakes. Our first impressions are shaped by the affluent and influential Westmoreland family, who make their mark with their undeniable charisma and power. But beneath this facade of wealth and prestige lies a labyrinth of emotions, secrets, and hidden desires. Our protagonist, Meredith Bancroft, is introduced to us as a young, ambitious, and determined woman. Born into the lap of luxury, Meredith is not your typical heiress. Her tenacity and drive to make a name for herself in the business world sets her apart from the rest, but even the strongest of women have their weaknesses. And for Meredith, it's a charming, roguish man named Matthew Farrell. Matthew Farrell, an ambitious steel tycoon, is the epitome of a self-made man. He's rugged, handsome, and has a magnetic charm that's impossible to ignore. But beneath his tough exterior is a man who yearns for acceptance and love. His troubled past and ambitious future set the stage for a tumultuous romance that's as unpredictable as it is passionate. As the paths of Meredith and Matthew cross, we are given a glimpse into a world where love and power collide and where the lines between right and wrong are blurred. The stage is set for a romance that's destined to be anything but ordinary. The stakes are high, the passion is palpable, and the journey promises to be unforgettable. The first chapter acts as the foundation for this riveting tale, setting the tone for a narrative that's filled with intrigue, romance, and drama. It leaves us yearning for more, eager to uncover the secrets that lie beneath the surface, and ready to embark on a journey that promises to be as captivating as it is complex. And so, our journey begins with heartbreak and hope. As we delve deeper into the book, the story unfolds with rising tension and drama. Breathe deep, dear listeners, as we venture into the next few chapters of Paradise by Judith McNaught. Here we witness the escalating conflict and the budding romance between our protagonists. It's a journey that's as thrilling as it is heartrending. Our heroine Meredith and the dashing hero Matthew find themselves in a whirlwind of emotions as they navigate the treacherous labyrinth of love. The chapters are filled with beautifully crafted dialogues that reveal their deepest insecurities, their fiercest desires, and their strongest convictions. McNaught cleverly uses these chapters to lay the groundwork for their relationship. She doesn't rush their love story, instead she lets it simmer, lets it build, lets it breathe, and oh how it blossoms. From quiet moments of understanding to intense confrontations, every interaction between Matthew and Meredith is a dance, a dance of two souls yearning for connection. But love, as we know, is never easy. McNaught doesn't shy away from showing us the trials and tribulations that come with it. Misunderstandings abound. Miscommunications wreak havoc. The stakes are high and the tension is palpable. You can almost hear the ticking time bomb of their love story, waiting to explode. Yet. Amidst the chaos, there are moments of respite, moments where Matthew and Meredith steal away from the world lost in each other's eyes. These moments, dear listeners, are the heart of these chapters. They're the quiet before the storm, the calm before the climax. In these chapters, McNaught manages to weave a tale that's both intense and tender. She paints a picture of love that's raw and real. It's a love that's fraught with conflict, yes, but it's also a love that's pure and passionate. As we close the pages of these chapters, we're left with a sense of anticipation. What lies ahead for Matthew and Meredith? Will they overcome their struggles? Will their love prevail? These questions linger, keeping us hooked, keeping us yearning for more. Tension is building and love is in the air. The stage is set, dear listeners, so let's turn the page and step into the next chapter of their story. In these chapters, the story reaches its boiling point. As we delve into the heart of paradise, we encounter a tempest of emotions and pivotal turning points that spin our characters into a whirlwind of passion and conflict. In the sixth chapter, the tension between Meredith and Matthew escalates. Their restrained feelings for each other turn into a roaring fire, 
consuming and intense. It's as if they're dancing on a tightrope, balancing between their personal dilemmas and the magnetic pull they feel towards each other. This dance, my friends, is the essence of a beautifully crafted romance. As we move into the seventh chapter, we witness a pivotal moment, a moment that acts as the fulcrum of their relationship. The secrets they've been harboring come to light, shattering the illusion of perfection they've created around themselves. This revelation hits like a thunderbolt, leaving both of them and us, the readers, reeling. In the eighth chapter, we see them grappling with their newfound reality. Their hearts are a battleground torn between love and betrayal. McNaught brilliantly portrays their emotional turmoil, making us feel their heartache as if it were our own. We're left wondering, can love truly conquer all? Finally, the ninth chapter brings us to the precipice of the climax. The stakes are higher than ever, and the tension is palpable. We're left on the edge of our seats, our hearts pounding in anticipation. The chapter ends with a dramatic confrontation, a collision of wills that leaves us breathless. In the midst of this turmoil, we see glimpses of their undeniable love for each other, their longing stares, their stolen touches, the unspoken words that hang heavy in the air between them. These moments, fleeting yet profound, add depth and intensity to the story. The climax of Paradise is a masterclass in storytelling, with Judith McNaught skillfully weaving a tapestry of emotions that leave us spellbound. She takes us on a roller coaster ride filled with highs and lows, love and heartbreak, secrets and revelations. The climax leaves us breathless, yearning for resolution. As we near the end, the pieces begin to fall into place. In the tenth chapter, we see Meredith and Matthew's relationship evolve further as they navigate the aftermath of the climax. The misunderstandings and conflicts that once clouded their journey begin to dissipate, replaced with an understanding that only comes from having weathered a storm together. It's a gentle descent from the peak of their conflict, a falling action that paves the way for resolution. Chapter 11 brings a sense of introspection. Meredith and Matthew both must confront their own personal demons their past mistakes, and the reality of their situation. It's a poignant exploration of their individual characters, shedding light on their growth and evolution throughout the story. This chapter is a testament to McNaught's talent for creating complex, relatable characters. In the twelfth chapter, we witness the turning point in their relationship. The pieces of their shattered past begin to fit together, creating a mosaic of love, forgiveness, and acceptance. It's a chapter filled with raw emotion and heartfelt dialogues that tug at the heartstrings. Finally, in the 13th and final chapter, we reach the resolution. The conflicts are resolved, the misunderstandings cleared, and the characters find their much-deserved happiness. It's a beautiful ending, full of hope and promise for the future. The characters we've grown to love finally find their paradise, a place where love reigns supreme, Throughout these chapters, McNaught masterfully weaves a tale of love and redemption. She takes us on an emotional roller coaster, making us feel every high and low, every triumph and defeat. We see the characters grow, change, and ultimately find their way back to each other. And so our journey ends, leaving us with a sense of satisfaction and longing. We close the book with a sigh of contentment, the sweet aftertaste of a well-told story lingering in our minds. But we are also left longing, wishing for just a few more pages, a few more moments with Meredith and Matthew, such as the magic of McNaught's Paradise. Paradise is more than just a romance novel. It is a journey of love, loss, and redemption. Judith McNaught has woven a rich tapestry of emotion and character growth, one that leaves us both breathless and satisfied. From our first impressions in Chapter 1, we were introduced to characters who were real, flawed, and deeply relatable. We journeyed with them through the ups and downs of love, experiencing every heartbreak and triumph right alongside them. As we delved deeper into the story, the rising action in chapters two to five kept us on the edge of our seats. The climax found in chapters six to nine was a testament to McNaught's storytelling prowess, leaving us with bated breath and eager for resolution. Finally, the falling action and resolution in chapters 10 to 13 brought us a satisfying conclusion that resonated deeply. It was an emotional roller coaster that left us with a profound appreciation for the journey of love and the strength of the human spirit. Paradise is a book that delves into the complexities of love, the resilience of the human spirit, and the power of redemption. It's a testament to McNaught's writing prowess and a must-read for any fan of the romance genre. 
As we close the pages of paradise, we are left with a profound sense of the power of love and the resilience of the human spirit. Thank you.